Hello everyone. I think all the kids are very fond of toys. You all play with toys. But do you have a living toy in your home? We call the living toy as a pet. And the animals which you have in your home as well as the plants which you grow in the home are all made of one thing inside. Do you know what is that? I'll show a toy. Look at this toy. Do you love this? Can you see what is this? Yes, you are right. And this pet animal, this is not a pet animal. You have the same family, Felix family pet animal called a cat. And look at this. Do you have colorful flowering plants in your home? Both of these are having similar units inside this. Do you know what is that? Yes. They have a similar unit inside. You will come to know at the end of this class what is that. I will tell you an incident which happened in the life of Robert Hooke. In 1665, when Robert Hooke was working in a glass factory, he was very curious in inventing things. He had opened a cork of the bottle, glass bottle, and he cut the cork into pieces. He kept one of the pieces in a microscope kind of thing and he had noticed that rectangular boxes, so many inside the car. If the non-living thing have inside this kind of rectangular boxes, then he had come to know that he had noticed that definitely the living things will also have inside any unit. Then many scientists found that all the living things were made up of a basic unit called cell. And do you think both the plant cell and animal cell will be similar? No. They are having different characters and their own different parts inside the animal cell as well as in the plant cell. Now let us learn the parts of animal cell. Look into the animal cell. The parts are plasma, membrane, mitochondria, centriole, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleus, nucleolus, ribosome, lysosome, Golgi bodies. These are the parts of animal cell. Now let us learn the parts of plant cell. Cell wall, plasma, membrane, endoplasmic reticulum, lysosome, nucleus, ribosome, mitochondria. These are the parts of plant cell. Do you think both the parts are similar? No, there are some differences. Let us now come to know the differences between the plant cell differs from animal cell. The plant cell have a cell wall, but the animal cell doesn't have. The plant cell have chloroplast, but the animal cell doesn't have chloroplast. The plant cell have centrosomes, but the animal cell doesn't have centrosomes. The vacuoles present in the plant cell are large and big in size and in animal cell the vacuoles are smaller. This is the main difference between these two and you can now come to know the meaning of cell, the parts of animal cell and the plant cell. The main difference between this
Did you know when Robert Hooke found that the basic unit is cell in which year? And he was working in 